part, but he's been added now. And off the opening kickoff, it is Buffalo holding it. Tom Murray, number six with the ball up for Hervé Guillaume. Watch out for him. Good player. Now it's Stevie Butler with it. We'll try to set things up for you, but right now we'll tell you that it's Buffalo again with Gio. Sliding in on the right side, Pisano off the boards. Stays alive with it. Played over to the far boards to De Santana, one of the new players on this Buffalo Stallions roster. And right side, Gio turning, shooting it off the boards. He's blocked. Wants to try it again. Vosmeyer on defense against him, along with Dave McKenzie, the line of Dave Hagen. Paul Charles and Stevie Buttle. Here's Gio again, shooting it wide, and Papaleo just got the fingertips on it. Nice play by the second-year pro. Now Hagen is pushed from behind by De Santana, so we have our first foul. We also have our first uh, look. You can't see it right now, but maybe we'll get a shot of it later on. It is uh, our new scoreboard here, which had its debut the other night in the Penguins game. I'm told that the scoreboard performed well. Worked super. The final score was great, 4-1. Yeah, that's right. Good. Maybe we'll have a new streak with the scoreboards. Here's Hagen. Cutting. Nice move. His shot, though, is stopped easily by Sirleet. Visa Sirleet. Long toss-up field, look. and it well lands done, right in front of the uh, spirit bench. I believe that was Keith Tozer's voice. Now it is Buffalo trying to work the ball free and come back the other way, and they do. But Papalea, who's way out of the net, reacts well and tosses it over. Now it is Buffalo coming back. Quickly they attack up the middle. Quick shot, and Papaleo stopped that one off the foot of Oscar Pisano. Long toss-up field for Child. Now to Stevie Buttle. Buttle for Hagen over at the midfield line. Broken up. Carlos Alguero is out there now for the Stallions. He was their leading scorer last year. Now this is Buriano, a key player for the Stallions on the attack. Buriano chopped down from behind by Z Kapka, who's now out there. Pittsburgh wants to make a change if they can. You'll probably see Sibbies and Alberto out there. Long ball over on the far wing side. Now Buffalo losing possession, and it is Kapka with the ball. 13-22 to play. Opening quarter, no score up the left wing. This is Dave Hagen. For Kapka off the boards. Loose ball. Here's McKenzie. Shot it too high. That would have been his fifth goal of the year, equalizing what he had all of last year. Here's Hagen for Child. Paul Child shooting it off a deflection. Kapka again deflected wide. Sirleet got a whack at that one. Now it's Vosmeyer chasing it down. Ball played all the way back to Papaleo in the box. It may be interesting to see how the Polish players do against Surly. They've probably played against him in Poland, but they have not played against him indoors. Up the left wing, Sibis. Off the boards. Look at the way the Polish players are using the boards now, though, Jim, and they weren't doing that earlier in the season. Indeed, and Sibis, he's a small man, but very quick, and I'll tell you, he knows the boards. Watch there's, it here. There's Marr with a good shot, and Surly was tested early. So Pittsburgh starting to take some command here as far as offense, but it's still scoreless with 12.27 left in the opening quarter. This is Buriano, a man to be watched at all times. Long lead on the left wing side. Stallions trying to work it against Topolsky. Now it goes back to Buriano. Gio's line is back on for the Stallions. Gio is joined by Charlie Jordash. And just as we say that, Buffalo changes. Up the right wing now, Kevin Marr. Brilliant rookie for the Spirit. Trying to leave it off for Alberto, poked away, and back from the Stallions on the attack. Buffalo coming back on a two-on-two. -two. Pass over on the right wing side, and a quick shot taken is stopped by Papaleo off of Cliff Calvert, who got the good one away. Calvert was the defenseman when he played outdoor in England, and now he's moved up to a midfield position here in the indoor, and he had two goals the other night. He's dangerous. Number 22, Calvert. He has a lot of experience with this team. Murray and the goalkeeper have a communications breakdown, but now it's played back to Sirleet. Rolls it on the right wing side for Cliff Calvert. Calvert marked there by Sibbies. Now Buttle comes on. Here comes Gio. Lead ball on the right wing side. Quick shot stopped by Joe Papaleo on with Calvert. And even though he's playing as a defender tonight, Jim, he's going to be coming up. He's showing us right now. Well, overlapping as he moved from in midfield. He's really playing midfield tonight, at least at this moment. Overlapped on the right wing. Over on the right wing side, now it is Topolsky. Sliding it to Kevin Marr, almost lost it to Gio. Good recovery there by Kevin. He starts the run up the middle. Into the offensive zone, slides it right for Stevie Buttle. Passes it into the corner. Sibbies off the boards, loose ball still loose, and Marr overran it. Good opportunity, but Pittsburgh comes up empty. Now Topolsky with a pass to Alberto, broken up. Pittsburgh retreats. This is De Santana. Lead ball for Gio. Gio overruns the ball, gets some help, but it slid harmlessly back to Papaleo, and he starts to spare it back in the attack. Spirit 
And Stallions, each winner's in their last outing. Vettel's lead ball kicked out by Sirleaf. Vosmeyer follows it up. Quickly up the left wing side, David Hagen trying to turn, and he's upended. We've got a foul on Boreano. That's actually a good play. If Boreano doesn't upend him, Hagen gets behind him and has a chance to break. There's Luis Dabo, a coach who's a stickler on conditioning. He says his team is in condition tonight. He's pleased. Originally from West Africa, Dabo, Coach Dabo, he took over late in the season for Buffalo and almost got him in the playoffs last year. This is Hagen putting it out to Sibbies. In, far boards for Buttle. Stevie looking forward to tap back towards Surly. Not a good ball to give back to your goalkeeper. Now on the right side, this is Buriano. Off the boards. Intended for DeSantana. McKenzie says no. Now it is Buriano again. Broken up. Now Buffalo getting it back. Goldberg on the right side. Sal Guerrero, a guy to watch. Carlos Sal Guerrero into Goldberg in deep. His shot stopped by Papaleo at the short side. Papaleo looking sharp early tonight, and good to see that. He's made a couple of real big ones, short post on the near side. He's got a lot of confidence, especially for a young goalkeeper, only his second season indoors. And last year, he didn't even start the year with Pittsburgh. He was still playing in college. Got in seven spirit games last year, won three of them, didn't lose. McKenzie now for Paul Child as we're back in the action. 9.24 to go. Opening quarter still scoreless, but it's been Pittsburgh attacking. Ball played in now. Bosmeyer. That ball kind of was deceiving for Bobby. Thought it was going to go in toward Hagen. Then it came at the last moment and kind of handcuffed everybody. Here's well, a look at Bosmeyer. Hagen went up for the air ball, tried to head it. It just was a little too high, and uh, uh, Maher wasn't just quite ready. This is Buttle in the box. Score! And it's Paul Child who gets the goal from Stevie Buttle. And I'll tell you, he tackled from behind. He was pushed from behind in the penalty box. There was no call. Went to Buttle. But if you notice, Jim, I think John Kowalski probably told his players, look it, we know that the Polish players do have some trouble off the boards. We expect this guy surely to as well as that ball goes. John Paul Della Camera back along with Jim Forney here on HSC. It's a one nothing spirit lead with 8.36 to go opening quarter. Child with a lone goal of the game thus far. Pittsburgh leads 1-0. On the run down the right wing side, Pikushinsky broken up. The ball played back to Joe Papaleo. Long toss up the right wing side. Sibbies, oh, he had Kapka, but the ball was deflected, never made it over there. Now it is Sirleaf moving it up the right wing side. Taking it in stride now. This is Goulburn trying to pass it, broken up. Alberto flipping it. Sibby's looking for it. Now tries to move it up the middle. Now it's Buffalo getting it back. Right wing, Sal Guerrero in the box. Pisano, the shot stopped by Papaleo. Good save. And Joe looks for the loose ball again in the box. Gets some help from Kevin Marr as number 13, Art Kramer, was there on the doorstep. Sal Guerrero wants to turn it back inside. Nice couple of cuts. Topolsky rejects that. On the right wing, this is Kevin Marr. So the Spirit reject the Stallions as they try to get that equalizer. This is Alberto. Luis. That one went over. He's uh, born and raised in St. Louis. And now another big save. Moving in, uh, Solguero, number 11. But uh, Papaleo, perfect so far. Topolsky with a nice play on that one to stop that attempt. Up the right wing, Kapka. Cutting, shooting, knocked down by Sirleaf. Alberto, a shot off the fingertips of Sirleaf. And it goes. All right, bottle off the corner kick. A lot of motion in the box. Buttle off the boards once. Tries to push it out to Vosmeyer. Bobby fakes, puts it back for Buttle. Try to cut in the box. He wanted Paul Child, but then he lost the handle of it. This is DeSantana on the right side for Niels Goldberg. Vosmeyer will break it up and calmly sends it back the other way to Joe Papalea for McKenzie. This is Mack. Up the right side, the player of the week in the MISL this past week. He deserved it. He'll get the ball from Buttle. Try to chip it as he's chopped down. Third ball anyway over to the near side as there's a look at Dave McKenzie, the only original member of the team. Quick one in deep for Child. But Pittsburgh had no luck on that one. Here's Murray putting it back to Sirleet. Sirleet's got to be fortunate. His club only down 1-0 at this point. 
Long toss, not quite three lines. Vosmar calmly plays it back to Papaleo. Joe lost it, and Gio's gonna score. And I'll tell you why that happened, Jim. Vosmar was not in the neutral zone when it happened. If well, we, either see. that, or Joe thought that he was, and they seemed to hesitate on it. So Buffalo will tie it. Gio will tie the score at 1-1, and it should be unassisted. Here's Hagen the other way up the boards. Quick one went wide by Child. Hagen again trying to move it. I'll tell you, Sir Lead is having some problems that Moblik was having earlier, playing the ball off of those boards. Pittsburgh's got to continue that strategy. Some of them will go in. Here is Pisano on the right wing. Quick one and played into the box, and nobody picked up Ernie Buriano. Luckily, he didn't get to the ball. Here's McKenzie countering for Paul Child. Child is the acting captain tonight for O'Hara. You may notice he's wearing a red armband. Child off the board. Sir Elite stops that, and he had Buttle. Ever dangerous right there on the doorstep. He'll toss up field quickly. Trying to get something going. Carlos Salguero. Deking on McKenzie. Off the boards. Loose ball. And there's Child. Moving it up for Dave Hagen, who played well last week for the Spirit. Didn't get any points, but he looked good. And really made this line come together with Paul Child and Stevie Buttle. Added some speed to it. He was making some good runs off the ball. Opened up space, I think, for the other players. Here's Vosmeyer in a 1-1 tie. We'll get the official score on that last goal when we get a moment. Here's Hagen. Busted up by Boreano. It is Gio scoring it unassisted at 9.26 of the quarter. Back come the Steins, but they're broken up by Topolsky. Quick counter. Child open right. Hagen left. David gets it. Cranks it into the crowd. We'll John's got the right strategy, Jim. He's using those boards, but so far Pittsburgh has managed to get just one, Jim. But you blast it here in outdoor, and it's three lines, and it comes back. It'll take some adjustment. Up the right side, now they play it to Gio. Gio losing it. Sibby's looking for it. I've been impressed so far with the way the Polish players have used the boards against the Polish keeper. Here comes Gio on the steal. Quickly, going against Alberta. Luis blocked it with the back of his right heel. Just when it looked like you're faked out of position, Luis was not. Just got that last foot in there. Ball headed now over to the far side, and it is Gio with 4.25 to go in the very fast-moving opening quarter. Tied at one. This is Tom Murray with the ball. Playing it over on the left wing side. Stallions trying to cut it inside. Play it on the right side. This is De Santana. Pushed by Topolsky, trying to leave it off. Poked away. Civis comes back with Katka. Alberto supporting the run. Surely way out of the goal. Clears it up the far wing. Good thing for him because that net was very much empty. Here's Topolsky up for Alberto. Luis looking. Tries to lead and does lead Kevin Marr to the left wing boards. Marr bounced away from the play by Niels Goldberg. Back the other way on the counter, but Topolsky steals. Long ball the other way. Surly comes way out after it. Surly lays it for Goldberg. Now back for Tom Murray. Buffalo playing without their best defender. And the spirit without theirs in John O'Hara. At least they are most consistently good defender. Maybe tough to see who'll be the spirit's best defender this year with Topolsky, Vosmeyer, McKenzie. This is Sal Guerra now laying it for Gio. Gio over on the near side. Topolsky in on the chase. Actually, Adam was named by the players as Pittsburgh's best defender last year. On the right side, Sal Guerra shooting off the boards, but Papaleo is right there. And he calmly rolls it right side to Civis. And he tries to lay it off, and it goes out of play with three minutes. If it hits off another player, it's okay. If it hits the referee, it's part of the field, or the same thing with the boards, but a clean one over all three, and you call it back. Here's a look at the alternate referee in the box, Jim Evans, local official. You work this game with three officials, two on the carpet, one in the box. Long ball the other way, Papaleo coming out. Has to get it. Loses, but McKenzie blocks the attempt. And now it is Salguero getting it back. Shooting it in off the boards, and Hagen just chipped it over Papaleo. Added one in a dangerous situation here as Buffalo has a corner kick put in by Buriano in the box score. And that's why it's dangerous. Carlos Salguero from Ernie Buriano off a set play in Pittsburgh. Corner kick or a free kick close in. And credit the Buffalo Stallions, a perfect setup. And Carl just turned it in beautifully. Two to one, Buffalo in the lead. He was open in the box area. Carlos Aguero, it'll be his sixth goal of the year. 
earlier, Herve Gio scored for the Stiens. Back the other way now, David Hagen looking off the boards, and Sirleaf will handle it easily. Stiens want to come back the other way, Sal Guerra, who just had the goal. Now it is Pisano up the far side. Stiens still looking for it. Kuszynski out there now, local boy. Rudy Pikershinsky, one of uh, a brother combination, although his brother Randy has been scratched from the lineup tonight. Here's McKenzie, left wing side to Bob Vosmeyer. Vosmeyer plays it in, intended for Stevie Buttle. Buffalo playing around with it, almost picked off by Dave Hagen. I think he may have fouled. Oh no, no matter what sport you're playing, right. never dump it right up in front of the slot. I'll tell you, Buffalo is certainly guilty. That was Mark Christensen who put that ball out there. No, 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 no. Danger. Viewing audience, any rebroadcast, reproduction, or the use of the pictures, descriptions, or accounts of this game without the express written consent of CAC Sports and HSC prohibited. Check that. Yeah, <laughs> I got to go. I got to tell you, here's Alberto for bottle. And we're not complaining, folks. On the right side, Sapolsky. Off the boards, banged out by the Stiles. This man, Gio, you got to watch, even shorthanded. Had a bunch of them last year. Well, he's like Paul Kitson. When a team is short, had a lot of speed, he can fly and he can anticipate. Here's Buttle with a power play. Takes a shot block. Pittsburgh's got to use those boards that worked for them earlier. This is Papaleo. Gives it off to the general out there. Luis Alberto, he'll control things or quarterback it for Pittsburgh. Less than a minute to go in the opening quarter. Tied at one. Or, I'm sorry, Pittsburgh trails. 2-1. Here's Buttle. Right side, Topolsky off the glass, but right to Sirleet. Long toss up for Gio and Topolsky. Read it well. Good play. That saves some time on the clock. Adam will get it back from Buttle. Give and go. Score! Topolsky! What a great pass from Paul Child. Oh, you talk about perfect pass by Child and the first time shot by Topolsky that made it go. The quick give and go. Textbook style. Now let's see what Pittsburgh does here. They've gotten the tie, 2-2. Less than 30 seconds to go. Opening quarter. This is Sal Guerrero battling. Blocked by Tupolsky. Lead ball up on the right wing side. Broken up by Kevin Marr. Marr broke up that pass from Pikashinsky. And now the ball is deflected out of play. Last touch by Buffalo. So 10 seconds left in the quarter. And Pittsburgh is even at two apiece. Luis Alberto ready to put it in play. Gives it to Tupolsky. Adam looking for Simmies, who was trying to turn. He had Pizano right on him. Five seconds to play. Back to Sirleaf. He'll toss up the field, and that's it. The horn sounds ending this fast-moving opening quarter. So it was a big combination of things, but I think he felt he couldn't touch that ball with his hands, and he could have as we look back. Right now, you've got the second quarter, so we'll go to Jim Forney as the score is even at two. And we have the abbreviated Polish line on. That's with Kapka and Simmies, and there's Luis Alberto, who... Tried to draw a foul, but the referee says play on. De Santeno on the near boards, being watched closely by Topolsky. De Santeno trying to play back to the goalkeeper. Now comes out to Niels Goldberg, laying it ahead to Murray. Here comes Tom Murray, overlapping his defense. He's on the run. Looking in the middle for Gia, off the boards for Gia, just out of reach. And now the Spirit come back on a two-on-one break. Here's Kupka, has Simmies on his right to Simmies. Looking back to Kupka, off the board, on the far side. Oh, the... Rebound shot by Kevin Marr, just out of reach. And now here comes Murray again, a race up field. In the corner for Gia, right across. Oh, oh perfect. De Santana. And Jim, that's the transition. He was going to use the boards, and if the play works, it's great. But when it does, this is going to be a high-scoring game, Mr. Forney. Well, that's one reason. Hey, don't uh, be too alarmed at this point. But let's not let it get out of control. Stay within a goal. And see if he can get Buffalo on the run and power a few in. On the far side, looking for help and getting it from Stevie Buttle was Paul Child. Stevie Buttle, give and go back from Osmeyer, but broken up. Pizzano in the corner now for Aguero. Back to Pizzano. Pizzano just hit the far post. Ball loose, bouncing around, and McKenzie calmly takes it back for the Pittsburgh Spirit. Left side, Stevie Buttle. Buttle looking upfield, looking for Paul Child. He's in the corner. Will it go to Child? Goes left side, McKenzie. McKenzie in the corner. Right through. Hagen trying to set up Buttle. But the good save by Sir Leet. Sir Leet dumps it near side. Buffalo Stallion. This is Jordash. Now for Salguero. 
So Aguayo moving around Bosmeyer, but back to help is Hagen. Hagen from Scotland, and he's working well with this line with Child and Stevie Buttle. Bosmeyer to Paul Child. Child pass went behind Hagen, and Mariano coming back for the Stallion. Good takeaway by Bosmeyer, former captain of the Chicago Sting. Bosmeyer. Pass went behind Child, and again, it's give and go back the other way. Seguero for the Buffalo Stallion, open on the far side and dangerous. In the box back to Seguero, just couldn't turn it in. That was Jordash on the far side, return to Aguero. Now Jordash again. Charlie Jordash, long ball, playing it off the board. Seguero shot right on, grabbed off by Papaleo. Papaleo tossing it high upfield. Paul Child in the air, nodding it down. Battle for control, taken away by Stevie Buttle. Good sliding tackle. That was Niels Goldberg. Bosmeyer, number four for the Pittsburgh Spirit. Three to two, the Buffalo Stallion leading the Pittsburgh Spirit. Long ball upfield for Paul Child. Boots are high, Calvert knocked it down. Right on, all the save by Sir Lee. Calvert had problems with it. Calvert now gets a second chance and moves away with it for the Buffalo Stallion. Calvert played uh, soccer in England. Give and go. So well back to Calvert. Good takeaway by Alberto. Child upfield, but Serlit knocked it away. McKenzie for Kapka in the center. Oh, Alberto just couldn't turn it in. Back to Kevin Marr. Marr on the right side. Oh, a nice turn by Kapka. Deals the shot. Hit the side post. We have. Score! The Big Z is going to get it off of Sibby's doing some initial to drill it. Looked like he tried to beat him short side. Look at South. Pace continues. Mariano, number four, back on. He's the quarterback for the Buffalo Stallion. He has the ball right now. Lead pass just out of reach up in the far corner. Papaleo comes way out of the box to Topolsky. Adam Topolsky. Here's a good run by Kevin Marr in the corner. Luis Alberto. Alberto plays it out on top for Kevin Marr. Kevin Marr will be leaving next Monday to join the U.S. Olympic team on a tour. He'll be gone for about 10 days. This is Luis Fernando, who was just added to the roster for the Buffalo Stallion before the game. Back to Christensen. Christensen trying to run by Sibbies. Takes a run on the right boards. Still moving with it. Now taking away to Polsky to Sibbies. Sibbies has Kapka loose on the far side. Here's Kapka digging and shot it just wide. Sibbies just out of reach on the rebound. Christensen and Sibbies took it away from him. Sibbies still dribbling, tripped. But they say play on. I think, it or not. I think he tried to draw that foul, although he looks like he's hurting a little bit going down on the carpet. I think uh, the trip was there, but I think he wanted to try to draw the referee's attention to it. Whether he was hurt or not, the ref didn't go for it. Oh, Papaleo, big save, in close. And transition as the Spirit come back quickly. In the right corner, giving go! Oh, beautiful play! Pittsburgh Spirit! Kevin Moore has his first professional goal. Sends the Spirit off and running. And then it's Bing Bing going into the net at this early juncture. Buffalo Stallions working the ball through the middle. Rudy uh, Pikoshinsky had it just out of reach, and Bob Bosmeyer has the ball under control, deep in his own end. Plays it across for Davy McKenzie. McKenzie looking upfield, placing it on the boards, out of reach of Stevie Buttle. It's back to Sir Leet, plays it back in the box so he can pick it up. Sir Leet throwing it high upfield and just short of the three line, but then it bounces over the boards. It'll be free kick. Pittsburgh Spirit. McKenzie with four goals so far this season. Boy, what a start he's had. For Stevie Buttle. Back to McKenzie. McKenzie at midfield. Dumps it to the corner. Hagen giving chase. Bumped off by Calvert and foul called. It'll be to Vosmeyer. Vosmeyer. To McKenzie in the corner right on. Oh, oh, missing the rebound. Hagen. He had the wide open net, and Hagen just couldn't turn it all. Good work by Stevie Buttle. Buttle working against Calvert. Buttle and Calvert both fall to the carpet. Ball still in play. Now Vosmeyer traps it down nicely. Vosmeyer draws it back. Good ball control. Now for Hagen. Dave Hagen pulls it on the left side. 
Niels Goldberg giving chase. Now Rudy Pikachinski takes over for the Buffalo Stallions, trying to turn away from Hagen. And holding on Hagen, it'll be free kick. Local as far as Buffalo is concerned. Right. Niels Goldberg leaving it for Buriano. Buriano, slow run through midfield. Now to Rudy Pikashinsky. Pikashinsky leaned on by Dave McKenzie. And McKenzie, good defensive, but they couldn't clear. And a trip from behind. It'll be free kick as Buriano stumbles. Lead four to three. Murray. Looking for the open man, back to Goldberg. Goldberg for Berriano. Berriano's crossing shot was blocked. McKenzie stays right on Berriano. Berriano brings it back on top for Murray. Murray plays it in the center, trying to turn on it. Rudy Pikashinsky, but taken away nicely by Westmeyer. Papaleo couldn't pick it up. Now Papaleo has it as it's driven back to the goal mouth. A foul call, free kick, and Papaleo takes it quickly. And the Pittsburgh Spirit working to midfield. Paul Child. Watched by Rudy Pikachinski. Now to Dave McKenzie. McKenzie upfield. Miscommunication there as Buttle didn't know if it was to him or in the center for Hoggett. It goes through to Sirleet. Barry working the right side. Salguaro back to Murray. And Mark Christensen comes on now. Number 17 on defense. Looking for Gio. Gio has a goal tonight. He's ever dangerous. Guaro. His shot, turning shot, oh, beautiful turning shot and score. And that was a good shot, Jim, because his body looked like it was leaning as he made that turn down at the other side. So instead of having a two-goal lead and maybe jumping on Buffalo, it's tied again at four. Adam Topolsky on defense with Kevin Marr. Marr plays it back to Papaleo. Game tied 4-4, seven minutes remaining first half. Eight goals already in this soccer game tonight, and we're not at halftime. Pushing foul, free kick, Pittsburgh Spirit, but Luis Alberto put it right on the foot. Uh, Pisano, good run to the box. Gio couldn't quite catch up to it. De Santeno with it at midfield, plays it back on defense for Christensen. Christensen on the right side, out of reach of Jordash, and the Pittsburgh Spirit come back. Kapka plays it in the corner, looking for Sibbies, but Christensen there, Christensen. Out at the far side, Kevin Barr couldn't take it away from Gio. A three-on-one break, Buffalo Stallions. Gio plays it off the boards, and Papaleo played it perfectly, breaking up a three-on-one rush to Kepka. Kepka on the left side to Polsky. To Polsky has Sibbies in front. To Polsky looking for the shot, lays it aside. Drill, score! Kepka! Well, how many goals? It's as if neither team wants this lead. There's been a completely fooled Sir Lee. Well, you want indoor soccer at its best, you're seeing it. Good soccer, great uh, creative opportunities, and not many misses on the opportunities. This is Salguero. Salguero, ever dangerous. Number 11 plays it out on top. Drills a shot off the glass. Calvert, rebound. A real competitor is Papaleo. He'll never quit. Go kick, Pittsburgh Spirit. Out of reach of Hagen. And Niels Goulberg has it back for the Buffalo Stallions. Goulberg from Denmark. Salguero laying it on the far boards. A blistering shot just teed up and tense. in attendance here tonight. Good crowd on this Thanksgiving holiday weekend. Bobby Vosmeyer off the boards. Paul Child at midfield. Pushed by Goulberg. Goldberg. Boy, Goldberg's a digger, isn't he? Gets it free near side. This is Silguero. Silguero brings it back on top for Murray. Murray into the near corner. Turning on the ball is Goldberg. Goldberg puts it to the goal now. Papaleo grabs it off the boards and rolls it near side for Paul Child. Child hasn't had much room to move tonight. He's been marked one on one very closely, but now he's got room. Let's see what develops. Oh, a blistering shot at Surly. Teed up for the shot. Now it's going to go in the middle for Paul Child or maybe for Hagen. Who's there? Nobody but DeSantino. For the Buffalo Stallions. DeSantino from Brazil. His first uh, season in MISL play. Now here's Berriano. Berriano misplayed it, but turns back. Can he get it? Has it. Oh, nice work now. Berriano makes up for the misplay. Oh, oh beautiful aside for DeSantino. And DeSantino was just off stride by half a step. In the corner, Bobby Vosmeyer. Moving it on the boards, the Pittsburgh Spirit. Get it out with Dave Hagen, number six. 
Hagen looking upfield now has Stevie Buttle as he squares on the left side. Stevie Buttle in the slot for Paul Child. Child lays it back for Vosmeyer. Vosmeyer, Dave McKenzie, crisscross. Vosmeyer is still with it. Vosmeyer trying to slip it in the box. Hagen was open in front, but it's taken away by Barriano. Barriano out on the right side. This is Salguero. Salguero, left foot shot, blocked by Vosmeyer. He sent a drive, blocked by McKenzie. Barriano in the corner. Jams up. And not taken away though. De Centeno still controls. Back to Mark Christensen. He overstepped it. Left it for Pisano. Pisano. Good work on the ball. But one pass too many deep in the spirit end. And Pittsburgh has it back. 5-4 the Pittsburgh spirit leading the Buffalo Stallions. Mossmeyer to Dave McKenzie. 3.30 remaining first half of play. Maurice Leite. Just behind Ostolchek. Ostolchek getting his first shift of the night. Back to McKenzie. In the corner. Child off the board for Leite. And Leite just couldn't find it. Now Ostolchek plays it back midfield. Taken away by Gio. Gio has Kevin Marr marking closely. Good sliding tackle by Marr. Has the ball loose. And McKenzie has it back for the Pittsburgh Spirit. McKenzie punching it forward. Marcio Leite to Ostolchek. Ostalchik on the left wing. Calvert giving chase. Locked it free, but taken back. Ostalchik for Leite. Oh, beautiful work by Leite on the ball. Now here's Sibbies. And Sibbies just, uh, or no, that's uh, Dumbovic. Dumbovic getting his first shift tonight, too. So John Kowalski giving everybody a chance to play. First time we've seen, as you mentioned before, too, Jim, uh, Stalchik and Marcio. Marcio just come out on that last line on the change. On the restart. Almost given up by the spirit. McKenzie has it back. Dombovic. Can you talk about beautiful magic work on the ball? I don't think anybody's fancier than Dombovic when he's just uh, playing with that ball. Played all the way back to Joe Papaleo. Papaleo starting it out right side to Polsky. Now to Ostolchik. Ostolchik on the left side. Right in the box and out of reach for it. Oh, rebound to Bovic. And then Leite hit the side of the net. And Barita, Barrieto, rather, has it back for the Buffalo Stallions. 2.15 remaining in the first half of play. 5-4, to four, Spirit. Niels Goldberg, long ball up in the forward line for Gio. He plays it nicely. Oh, he almost had Barrieto in the give and go. Ostalchik took it back. Marcio Leite almost knocked down from behind. The ball rolls to the penalty area. And Sir Leet grabs it off. Christensen in the middle for Barrieto. Knocked away, but right on the foot of Christensen. Now to Salguero. Salguero, good move, taking on the left foot. Crossing pass and taken away by Toposki. Adam Toposki, three on three, run through midfield, leaving it for Ostalchik. Ostalchik squares it on the far side for Kevin Marr. Marr, beautiful run by Dumbovic. Feet off the boards for Dumbovic. Dumbovic. What will he do with it? Draw it back. Now brings it up for the shot. Lays it aside and drills the shot just wide. Comes off the shoulder. Loose ball in the box and kicked out. Fight for control at midfield. Boy, you don't think there's a battle going on and a hey. foul against the Pittsburgh. No. It could have been an obstruction on Greg, but they just let it go. Adam Toposki, number 20 for the Pittsburgh Spirit, finds a hole on the left side and Hagen fills it. Finds the ball knocked away from him by Christensen and... Wiesla Serlit plays it for Murray with a minute remaining in the first half of play. Murray to Christensen. Christensen whips it on the far boards. Look out, Salguero is open up in the forward line, but back playing it perfectly defensively for the Pittsburgh spirit, Dumbovic. Dumbovic, oh, gave it right away. Heel pass back for a trip on Dumbovic. It'll be free kick as Barrieto was sent to the carpet. 36 seconds remaining in the first half of play. 5-4, Spirit. Dangerous restart, but Goldberg drilled it wide. Still dangerous, Buffalo Stallions. Now take away, and Greg Ostalchik will settle it down. Pass on the right side, intercepted along. Coaches will be talking about that. Each team uh, has lost a, their better defender. O'Hara for Pittsburgh, Mepham for Buffalo, but I don't think that's really a factor. I still would have seen the goals. It's that kind of game. Papaleo almost had his clearing shot uh, blocked right in front. 
Keo settles the ball for the Buffalo Stallions. Christensen ups it high for Rudy Pikoshinsky. Pikoshinsky, as the buzzer sounds, drills it. We go back to Jim Forney. And Kowalski's going to start the Ostalchik line with Dumbovic and Marcio Leite. Kickoff by the Buffalo study. And this is Gio. He had a goal early in the game. Matter of fact, the one that tied it 1-1. It seems that's a long time ago. Dumbovic overlapping with the Stolchik. Give and go back to Dumbovic. Dumbovic on a run. Murray giving chase. Dumbovic off the boards. Beautiful to Leite. Leite turning shot. Off the glass. Rebound. Volley shot. Oh, perfect by Stolchik. Deflects off the glass. Lead out Dumbovic. Intercepts again. Look at the magic of Dumbovic. Quick shot. Actually hit teammate Leite. Now De Santeno. Lead pass upfield, grabbed off nicely by Topolsky. Squares the ball at midfield for Leite. Back to Topolsky. Adam Topolsky on a run, right to the box, out of reach of Ostalchik. Dumbovic lays it aside. Leite drills the shot, blocked by Christensen. Topolsky on the far side, looking in the middle. Leite back to Topolsky. Beautiful ball control by the Pittsburgh Spirit. It's been all spirit. Look out, Gio almost took it away from Ostalchik. No harm done, Papaleo. Right up the middle, but right on the foot of one of the Stallions. Gio couldn't handle it. Greg Ostalchik says, I'll take it, Joe, and does. Greg Ostalchik directing traffic as he moves through midfield. On the right side, Adam Topolsky throws it back to Papaleo. 5-4 Pittsburgh Spirit leading the Buffalo Stallions. It's been up and down. Never more than a one-goal difference in this soccer game tonight. Dumbovic pushed from behind by Christensen. No foul called as it's back to Wiesla Serlit. Now to Murray. Tom Murray, born in Orange, New Jersey, played at Hartwick College where they produced a lot of fine soccer players. This is Murray, of whom we just spoke. Back to Serlit. Now to Tom Murray. Oh, he misplayed it. Here's Marcio Leite to Dumbovic. Look <laughs> at Dumbovic. <laughs> Turning Barriano inside out, and Barriano had no fakes. One, two, three, we're gonna count them all, then he goes to the right and draws a foul. Free kick into the hot box area, but no problems as it's cleared out easily by the Buffalo Stadiums. Jordash, run through midfield, up on the forward line for Selguero, but the takeaway, and Topolsky unloads up on the right side. This is a run to the corner. Out on top, this is Luis Alberto. Back to Kevin Marr, who got his first professional goal tonight. He'll be leaving Monday, as we mentioned, to join the U.S. Olympic team. They're taking a tour in the Caribbean. Nice play by Alberto, as he just fed it back to Joe Papaleo. Papaleo to Dumbovic. Beautiful heel pass back to Luis Alberto. And why not? They should have been stopped right there. That would have been a great finish, I'll tell you. Would have had a breakaway. McKenzie. Lays it to Kevin Marr. Marr takes it deep in the corner. Drills a shade. Word counts on the scoreboard. Surly, goalkeeper for the Buffalo Stallions, lays it aside for Goldberg. Back to Surly. Now a run through midfield. Mark Christensen dumps it to the right board corner. Calvert is there. Plays it off the board. And Vossmeyer clears. And taken away by Ian uh, Kapka. Now to Luis Alberto. Trying to lob it back to Kapka. But good defensive play by Niels Goldberg. Now to Gio. Gio. He was an All-American at uh, Fredonia State, originally from Haiti. Deep in the Stallions and Kepko, almost with a takeaway, but Gio recovers. Gio slowed up by Simmies. Out of midfield, Luis Alberto. Good takeaway from Calvert. Alberto off the boards, and Simmies couldn't get all of it on the rebound. Sir Lee lays it to Cliff Calvert. Upfield, this is De Santo. De Santo centered. Bossmeyer blocked it nicely. Luis Alberto. Oh, beautiful move by Gio. Here's Luis Alberto. Has Simmies in the corner. Here's Simmies. Back to Alberto. Lobs it right on goal. Serlit the save. Rebound. Shot by Simmies. And Serlit makes another save. Oh, furious around the stallion's goal. Cliff Calvert at midfield. Lost control, but. De Santeno settles the ball for Tom Murray. Now to Pisano. 5-4, Spirit leading. Well, all the goal scoring in the first half, and we've gone almost five minutes here without a goal. That's unusual. Here's a good run by Dave McKenzie. And McKenzie trying to find Simmies on the right wing, but knocked away. 
Barriano brings it back for the Buffalo Stallions. Barriano, good run on the left wing. Look out, dangerous in the center. Oh, nice defensive play. McKenzie back to Papaleo. Now Cities. The end Cities. Deeks left, moves right. Still controls. Pisano up to Mark on Lowe's. Beautiful one touch. Back to Cities. Cities looking in the center. Marcio Leite is there. Leite pushed from behind. Still controls. Leite draws it back. Puts it on the left. Would he take the shot? Moves it to the corner. Drills it far side. Miss. Following up, Adam Topolsky. Topolsky lays it in the center. Ostalchik. Ostalchik just lobbed it on the near side and took it back nicely. Leite, side of the box, looking for Dumbovic, but Serlit, perfect position, and looks at Serlit telling his defenseman, hey, come on, move him out of there. 5 4, Spirit in the lead. Mariano put it right on the foot of Kevin Marr. Now back to the Buffalo Stallions. Good run by De Santeno. Dangerous. De Santeno lays it on the right side. This is Jordash. Jordash drills it off the boards, headed out of danger, and Ostalchik clears upfield for Dumbovic. Dumbovic. Good lob feed up on the right side. Crossing on the left foot. Saying a fire from Dumbovic. Score! Dumbovic! Oh, is he a happy man? Look at him. Dumbovic! I don't know if he thought he was going to get the ball from Adam. Uh, now he can let go of a wicked drive, but he took a look up. Well, he was off to a slow start. He gets to play together, hoping that Greg can work with him like he did with Stan Turlecki last year. Gio on the right wing drops it to the corner. Ball spinning crazily and took a weird bounce. Comes back for Murray. Murray pressured by Sibbies as the partial Polish line is on. Sibbies captain Luis Alberto. I like this combination. Calvert drills it over the goal. First time tonight, there's a two-goal difference, and the Spirit enjoy it. Topolsky in the corner. Kepka going for the hat trick. Oh, and he just hit the crossbar, the goal post. The ball lobbed high in the air. Back to Luis Alberto. Oh, Kepka smelled that one. Hat trick upcoming. He's got two. He's looking for the third, and now tempers flaring a bit. Settle down, lads. Aguillo's uh, toward the box. Well, what's happening with Luis Alberto, who's such an experienced KG player playing midfield, but Topolsky many times has overlapped. And with Alberto on there, you know that, hey, this guy knows to drop back and cover on defense. So Topolsky can move forward, also can throw a shoulder. Well, either. He's ready to come on, just as we say it. There he goes. Mary to Goldberg. Goldberg starts to run left side, played it off the boards, knocked away, and here come the Pittsburgh Spirit. Kepka on a run and catching up Goldberg. Boy, Goldberg is a digger. Played it back to Serlit nicely. Dumps it out left side. Here's a run by Dean Santana. As Borean on the left side, right side is Jordash. Jordash off the boards and a volley shot. Hit the glass. Karams for Borean. Borean plays it back on the defense. Pizano too far out of reach for Borean. McKenzie. For Sibbies, he was pushed from behind. Now Jordash tried to slip it into the hot box. McKenzie knocked it down. Cleared upfield. 6-4, Pittsburgh Spirit. 7-20 remaining. Third quarter. Now Marcio Leite comes on. Partial line change. So we'll see Dumbovic back on there before too long. It'll Stalchik to complete this line if Kowalski keeps it the same. But you never know in indoor soccer. Christensen squares the ball left side for Pisano. Pisano just holding, squirts it for Mariano. Mariano tried to run, couldn't get by Luis Alberto, but still dangerous. The Buffalo Stallions, nice leg work. Jordash turning shot, blocked in front nicely. Now the Pittsburgh Spirit with Bob Bosmeyer clearing up field. Elsewhere. Wichita, New York, tied up 2-2. That's at the half. Lots of action in the NISL. There's Dumbovic. Look at the turning shot by Dumbovic, but Barrieto blocked it nicely. Now Dumbovic again, looking for Marcio Leite. Way out of the box, Sir Lee. And Jordash covers up. Look at the work by Dumbovic. Marcio Leite moving by and tripped up. He tripped over his own feet. No foul there. Now back again. Kapowski to Leite. Save made by Sir Lee. 
Nekte again, so they rebound, Dubovic, score! And Dubovic has two. The guy that's going to get all the credit for setting this up is a guy that had no points going into tonight, Greg Ostalchik. He's going to be relentless in his pursuit. We're seeing the end of it tomorrow. If depth or conditioning becomes a problem, Pittsburgh should have an edge here. Kick off Buffalo Stallions. They trail by three. The Spirit lead it seven to four. Now don't let up, Spirit. Oh, this is a chance for them to get that killer instinct down and maybe blow somebody out. Well, we were talking about this uh, new line combination, and this is new. Ostalchik with Leite and Dumbovic, and boy, they've been red hot here in the second half. Let's see if they can get more. Ostalchik jamming on the boards. Now Leite trying to dig it free. Ostalchik splits the defense, but it's going to roll easily to Sir Leet. This is Tom Murray. Lofting up forward line, Gio goes to the corner. Wassmeyer right with him, and Wassmeyer pushing off, so it'll be free kick. Buffalo Stadios. Gio just plays it off the boards, high in the box, and Pagaleo diving, makes the save off the carpet, controls to Dumbovic. Wassmeyer to Dumbovic. Watch the work of Dumbovic. He's magic with that. In the corner, Leite off the boards, but it comes high to Wassmeyer. Look at him grab it right out of midair, off the toe. Back to Dave McKenzie. Boy, you can really appreciate the magic, master control of these soccer players. Good run to the box drive right to the feet of Sir Lee, and it almost took him right off his feet. And Murray it, lobs it out uh, over the glass. Again, you saw the Ostelchik pass, Jim. Not, not only does he uh, make that big play when he's got that ball, but he can, he can find that open starting at 4 o'clock. The Polish line on, at least part of it, as Serlit grabs it off the carpet. Kapka, Sivis, and Luis Alberto. And I guess when you mention that, we ought to mention Adam Topolsky because he's been as much of the offense tonight as anything as Luis Alberto. Case in point, right now, Alberto's playing back really on a defender. And uh, Topolsky and Kevin Marr overlapping. Now Alberto for Dombovic, or rather uh, Sivis. Now back to Joe Papaleo. Luis Alberto, marked closely by Barriano. Look at the turning, beautiful lob pass in the corner for Sibis. Sibis laying it aside for Topolsky. Topolsky pushed. It'll now with only 4.07 left here in the third quarter, but they're seeing Pittsburgh take control of the game, and there's a foul from behind by Barriano. Free kick, Pittsburgh spirit, controlled by Kevin Marr at the near side. Beautiful for Alberto, lays it aside. Sibis back to Kepka. Oh, Kepka just got a high rebound header off the crossbar. Oh, Kapka with a foot and then with a header and almost put it in. Salguero in the middle. Barrieto backed away from him. Oh, great, great soccer right now by the Spirit. You couldn't ask for better. Good run by Kapka. He was stripped and also fought in the carpet. And a break now. Four on two. Here come the Buffalo Stadions on the counter. Salguero's open on the right side. Number 11, Salguero in the center. Beautiful defense by Topolsky. Still not out of danger. High in the box again. Now Soguero and the header right off the head. Well, it doesn't work this time. Nice antenna lined up and couldn't turn it in. This is Rudy Pikoshinsky. Pikoshinsky drives it to the middle. McKenzie blocks it easily. And Marcio Leite clears to midfield. Barry, a run on the right side. Right to the box is, uh, that's Kramer. He scored earlier, number 13. Left side is Gio. Gio now playing the opposite wing. Gio brings it high in the box. Kramer couldn't control, and the Pittsburgh Spirit bring it back. Good run up midfield. Dumbovic on the right side for Leite. Back in the corner, Dumbovic. Sir Lee, way out of the box. Dumbovic tries to lob it over his head. But I think about tomorrow night as well. At some point, if Pittsburgh continues to add up the goals. Beautiful through ball for DeSantano on top for Kramer. Good sliding tackle by Dumbovic, and Dumbovic is doing it all right now, offensively and defensively, and that's another thing that John Kowalski was stressing to Dumbovic. Don't forget the defense on this game, and indoor soccer, it's never just all offense or all defense. Mikroshinsky puts it in the corner, De Santeno, bothered there by Bob Bosmeyer, gets help, and Marcio Leite runs it through midfield. Leite, a good run in across the line. Leite puts it right side. Drago Dumbovic. Dumbovic turning on it, still controls, but then played it ahead too far, and Christensen has it midfield. Gio dumps it left side, almost overrunning it was Aguero, now DeSantino. 
Back to Pikulczynski. Pikulczynski in the far corner. Back on top, near side, Kramer in the middle. Gio couldn't tee it up, and it's cleared by Ostalchik. Mark Christensen, Spirit not taking any chances. They're laying back defense. Oh, beautiful save on a blistering left foot shot. Papaleo, ever alert. Still dangerous, Gio is in, puts it to the goal now. Papaleo just got a hand on it, then grabbed the rebound clearly. Lays it aside for McKenzie. McKenzie, back for Bobby Vosmeyer. One minute, five seconds remaining, third quarter, seven to four. Pittsburgh Spirit, good header. Kepka nodded it toward the Topolsky into the middle. Now here come the Buffalo Stallions, good run. Going to the box, Calvert, but the pass couldn't get through as Vosmeyer broke it up and a counter by the Pittsburgh Spirit. Ostalchik near side, Davy McKenzie. McKenzie, will he go for goal number five? He has four, drills it, but it's blocked by Calvert. Christensen grabs the rebound off the board, gets it to Calvert. Calvert driven slowly through midfield. Calvert looking on the right side, gets out from Carlos Salguero. Back to Calvert, give and go, back to Salguero. Right there was Alberto. So one Argentine outsmarts the other Argentine. And both similar players too, really. Papaleo to Dave McKenzie. 15 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Seven to four, Pittsburgh Spirit. Carlos Alberto. Topolsky, a long, long pass in the box. Kepka tipped it right on. Save made by Surly. Out at Salguero, midfield. He trapped it beautifully out of midair as the buzzer sounds, ending the third quarter. With that's on goal. Pittsburgh 27, Buffalo 21. Fourth quarter action with a play-by-play. -play. John Paul Della Cameron. Thank you. Jim Hagen is out there with his unit, Buttle and Child. And they did not play at all in that third quarter. Bobby Vosmar now lays it back to Joe Papaleo. Broken up by Gio. That's trouble, but Papaleo atones for that mistake. That's one of his better qualities right there. If he makes an error, he's got the power and capability to come back. And was that's uh, Ruben uh, Steven. Steven caught him pretty good on the noggin. He hasn't played much at all. In fact, I think, Jim, that's only his second shift. And you may see Buffalo try to put in some fresh troops here as well. They've just picked up Luis Fernando, who's a prolific scorer, but I don't think he's in the shape to play a lot. But they may use him in this situation. Here's Buttle now, getting it off the boards. Buttle passing it, look for Child too far, and now Hagen will get it. It's important, though, for Pittsburgh not to let Buffalo back into the game. Three goals in indoor soccer is not an easy thing anymore. Here's Vosmeyer, right side for Child. Paul off the boards for Hagen, the turnaround, and right there is Sirleet. 7-4, Spirit leading it. They have a week off to prepare for an invasion by the Kansas City Comets, who are a very strong club in the Western Division this year. Coached, well coached by Pat McBride. Coaching in this league is really coming up. Now it's Bobby Vosmeyer tracking the ball down. Salguero getting some peace, but Vosmeyer calmly chipped it back to Papaleo. And now the race is on the other way. Here is Hagen. Dave Hagen trying to feed Buttle. Stevie was going one way. He'll feed back for Hagen, who's tied up. And the ball is stripped away by Ernie Boreano. Here's Buffalo, quick counter. It's three on two with Hagen in hot pursuit. Boreano, right wing side. Salguero cuts inside. Can't let him do that. It's blocked. Papaleo may have gotten a piece, but now the header goes in. And that goal will count. Our pre -game. To clear it downfield. Papaleo coming out. One thing about the great players like a Boreano, they can be shut off for most of the game. In the last minute, they can kill you. Long ball for Dumbovic. Right wing side has shot a weak one. Sir Lead is on it. Ball played out to DeSantana. Getting by to Polsky. It's two on one. Kevin Meyer back deep to the right wing side. Jordan shot just wide. And Pittsburgh very lucky indeed on that one. Great defense by Topolsky to cover up his man. And if it wasn't for Topolsky coming back to cover up Barriano, it were DeSantano rather, it would have been a tie, or rather one goal lead. But that first shot Jordan had had that net empty to the near side. Play continuing now with Dombovic looking for it. A real battle there in front of the Stallions bench. Now it's Pisano. Right side, Jordash. Ball played back to Christensen. Now up the right wing side, this is Art Kramer. Luis Dabo has really changed this team. A lot of new faces. 7-5. Spirit still leading it. 11.52 to go in the quarter. Quarter number four on the left wing side. Kramer shooting it blocked. Now picking it up, Marcio Leite. Marcio shifting with the feet, passes left wing side. Adam Topolsky with the ball with a goal and two assists tonight. Lead ball to Bovic, and he stopped. 
Surly was coming out. I think Drago, Jim, took his uh, eye off the ball and looked at the goalkeeper. Well, he wanted it just a second before. When it didn't come, he kind of quit. But then when it was there, he was a step behind. This is De Santana. Back for Murray. I think it looks worse from up here. This is Steven. To the near wing boards for Art Kramer. Now back to Tom Murray. Buffalo passing it back now in toward De Santana. Topolsky kicks it away. Child after it. Bangs it off the boards. Nice ball to Ostrelchik. To Leite. Back for Greg. When this guy is on his passing game, there's not too many better. He'll shoot this time, and it was just wide to the far side. On the right wing, the toss up field for Jordash. Trying to cut, finds Art Kramer. Three on five right now. Kevin Meyer breaks it up. Kramer almost took it back. Now Leite turning for McKenzie. Mack with four goals, the only original member of the Spirit. Looking for Hagen. He's tied up. David gets free. He's going to shoot one score! David Hagen made that play work himself. Dave Hagen. A goal lead, 8-5, to five, Pittsburgh Spirit. And that's the kind of promise and potential that the Spirit saw in young Dave Hagen, who didn't dress for the first three games, but then came on last week and looked good against Baltimore and looked real strong there. Buffalo with the ball. Keith Tozer on for his first shift of the night. Playing on defense with Dave McKenzie. Gets set for his goal kick. I'm John Paul Della Camera along with Jim Forney. Hope you're enjoying this offensive battle. That was a battle right there as we bring it to the Buttle and Tozer on the free kick. Buttle's going to take it. Sending it in for Hagen who wanted a turn. May get a chance. Look at this. He was held, but he gets back in the box. Still loose ball. Hagen to Tozer. The shot is blocked. Stallion's in there battling. Now we're in the holding jerseys. Here comes Sal Guerrero. Blocked by Tozer. Hagen. Look at him run all the way back. Now Tozer may get his own pass off the boards. Keith taken down. Play continuing. A Buffalo player complains to the near side. That's Cliff Calvert, who we have not seen in a while. Calvert was out there for quite a bit of the opening half. But he has been sitting down a little bit. They've just obtained him recently. Calvert chasing the ball back to his own keeper, Serlit. Over on the right side for Pisano. Oscar Pisano and Child collide along the boards. Call the Spirit Office at 642-1803. Pittsburgh coming back. Buttle with an 8-5 Spirit lead on the right wing side to Hagen. A big offensive showing for the Spirit in the box. And boy, Child almost ran on to an easy score. But Buffalo gets the ball. Right side, Carlos Salguero. Cuts well to his inside. Now brings it in the middle. Into the offensive zone. Right side for Christensen. Back for Niels Goldberg. Goldberg looking, finding his man Buriano, trying to take on three players, and he gets free to Gio. Gio leads for Buriano. McKenzie saved it right there, and good play as well from Keith Tozer. Tozer just fed it back to Papalea. Now it's Stevie Buttle for Dave McKenzie. Here comes Mack. May play it ahead, and he does for Hagen. He gets around the goalkeeper. Did he trip him? That should have been a penalty. Not a penalty kick, but a shootout. Looked like the goalkeeper just tripped up Hagen who had a break. Here comes Vosmar. Lead for McKenzie. McKenzie shot wide. Serlit's going to be praying at this point to go back to the outdoor game because this indoor is getting much in this game. On the right wing, quick shot wide of Papaleo headed down by Vosmar, who was almost hit by Pikashinsky. When I say almost, I may have given Rudy the benefit of the doubt. Here's Buttle to Vosmar. Up the right wing side. Dumbovic tried to lead for Topolsky. That's blocked. Adam will get it back. Cross Dalchik to late take cutting. Broken up by Goldberg. He comes right back on the right wing side. Jordash looking. Blocked by Topolsky. Dumbovic there. And as you mentioned before, Jim, tonight, Dumbovic's playing defense, and that's one of the reasons why he hasn't been playing over the last few games. This game is also getting real physical now. We've only had one penalty all night, but it's been a physical battle throughout. And it's picking up. Maybe some frustration on the part of Buffalo. Exactly. Here's a quick shot off the boards. Block Vosmeyer played it back to Papaleo. Buffalo Sports coming in a little bit late on Pittsburgh's goalkeeper, too. Here's Ostalcic tripped up. Foul. Constantine get control. 
This could turn into a mean uh, game before it's over. And there's still plenty of time. 7.08 to go. 8-5 Spirit leading it. Topolsky and Pikashinsky played back to Papaleo. Adam is upset and he should be. Pikashinsky was really riding him tough. Here comes Ostalchik. Tries to send a through ball in, but it doesn't get through. It's Murray breaking it up for the keeper. Surleap, right side to Ruben Steven. Steven giving it back. Now Christensen working to give and go from Buriano. On the right wing side, Carlos Salguero fakes the crank and he cuts inside, knocked down by Vosmeyer. Now it is Buriano. Vosmeyer gets in the way of a lot of shots. He came in leading the team in block shots and was second in the league. He blocked 80 last year with Chicago. Here's Sal Guerrero. Nice cut to the inside. Faked out to Polsky, but then he got some help from Ostalchik and Leite. Sal Guerrero makes that move from his right side to his left as well as anyone in the MISL. Sal Guerrero now leading, but broken up by Leite. Good footwork by Marcio to retain possession. That's some clever footwork. Vosmeyer to Topolsky. 8-5 Spirit. Back for Bobby Vosmeyer. Long one the other way for Dombovic, Ruben Steven breaks it up. Steven turning it back inside to the near wing. That's Luis Fernando who's just picked up. On the right wing, Sal Guerrero. Off the boards for Fernando, doesn't get there. It's picked up by Papaleo. Buffalo really slimy because every time they get into the Pittsburgh in, all five gold and black shirts are back in that zone. Here's Sal Guerrero trying for Briano. Great dummy run on the ball, and Fernando just missed. Ball played in, and Papaleo punched it out. But I'll tell you, that was a great run the kick. other way. Now, who hit the ball with their hands? Is that what they yeah, punched it? Topolsky wasn't even in the play. If he scores it, it's one-on-one -on -one against the keeper. Sal Guerrero coming in. Save Papaleo, but Sal Guerrero will score on the rebound, and Joe is upset because where that rebound's going to go. But watch it. Papaleo moved, but uh, hey, I guess Mar was moving but in the center circle by Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh's going to retain their composure. I think they were victimized by a bad call, and they've got to maintain their cool. They can't afford to take a penalty here because of arguing over a goal or anything like that. They cannot afford it at 14 seconds, so it's right up there. All right, now uh, we're set. They're going to hold the clock, Jim. It still reads five minutes, and then they'll play it after the 14 seconds that were missed. Here's Child. Try to turn, broken up by the Stallions. Cliff Calvert with the ball. Toes are right on him. Eight to six. That go by Sal Guerrero on a penalty kick. He was four for five last year. Now it's Sal Guerrero. Papaleo, give him credit. He guessed right. He made the stop. Here's Buttle. Right wing side for Dave Hagen. Don't forget, Jim Forty and I will recap this game for you at the conclusion of this exciting match between Pittsburgh Buffalo. Still time remaining. 440. McKenzie with the ball. Spur leading 8-6. Mack plays it over to Keith Tozer. Tozer bangs it off the glass to the near wing side for Child against Murray. Shot right into Sirleet. And he'll roll it on the right side. Goldberg. Moving it ahead. Sal Guerrero for Luis Fernando. Broken up by McKenzie. Papaleo fakes once, now rolls it right side to McKenzie. 4.15 to go. Fourth quarter, Spirit leading 8-6. Buttle blows by Sal Guerrero. Stevie try to get it back from Child. A mix up there. Murray is on the ball for Buffalo. In the middle for Buriano. I'm sure you're going to see Buriano a lot in the last four minutes of the game. Buriano to Murray. Watch there by Paul Child. Now the ball played back outside. Goulberg on it to Buriano. You know, I think the Saudians realize they can run with the spirit. They're a little more deliberate now the last couple of minutes. Here's Goulberg. In the box, and luckily Boriano wasn't there. Looked like he had overrun it a bit. Now McKenzie in there battling. I think both teams are trying to slow it down a little bit. Because Pittsburgh was not moving it on the fast break the other time up. This is Boriano. Look out, Goldberg shoots it off the glass. Hagen just bangs it off the boards and out. Pittsburgh's got to be careful. If Buffalo were to get the next goal, it would be very, very close, and it could change the complexion of the game if that last goal didn't do that. Here's Child trying to break up the middle. He's hauled down and still a foul. No penalty. Well, again, we mentioned it's been this kind of a game all night. It's been a very physical game and the officials have let it go. 
Watch this, see what you think. Paul Chow, beautiful header, then runs on the ball, and look, you don't think he was pushed off? That's not a two-minute. Christensen just uh, really uh, blocked him off the ball. If they're calling that just an obstruction, that's a heck of an obstruction. On the right wing side now, Kevin Mark tries to get around his man, broken up, or make it Dave Hagen. This is Tozer to Hagen. Hagen cuts, shoots, stopped by Sir Lee. He mishandled that. He hasn't uh, seen too many shots lately. It may have been a little bit rusty on that. Here's Gio. McKenzie wins the ball. Good thing. Sagro was wide open on the right wing. McKenzie had to get that ball. Here's Mack into the offensive zone. Tried to cut, then lost the ball. It was too far in front of him. Here's Shirley. Buffalo looking to break it back. But McKenzie stole it. Good play, and that will kill off some more time for Leite. Marcio cutting to the left side. His shot is blocked. Had no room there as Buriano blocked it. Upfield for Gio. Gio leaves it off as the crowd starts to chant for the Spirit. Trying to pick them up. 2.06 to go. 8-6 Spirit on top. Pisano looking. Rolls it right to Gio. Played back out. Now for Calvert. Ostalchik cut down by Calvert. Right back quickly, although Ostalchik is very slow to get up. If I'm not mistaken, Jim, uh, Buffalo has already used their timeout as well. When uh, Pittsburgh got an 8-5 lead, Buffalo called a timeout, so they can't stop the clock here and to try to get that goalkeeper to change, at least not on the timeout. Here is Marr on the far side to Bob Vosmar. Child after it, along with Murray. Out to Vosmar, in for Leite, Marcio for Child. Paul broken up on the back heel. Now it's Gio to the onrushing. Murray with a shot and he scores and it is a one goal game. I'll tell you, credit Murray and the beautiful lead pass to him. Here's Gio. Handle it there, but that's where the, that's where the goal came. Hagen now getting up. They do not call a foul, they say to play on. And now Pittsburgh up by 8-7 with 108 to go. Here's Buttle looking. Stevie in the middle, Alberto fan of the shot, Hagen. Shot blocked by Pizzano and Sir Lead has it. Less than a minute now to go on the left wing side. Christensen passing it to Salguero, now to Buriano. Buriano to the right wing. Christensen blocked by Luis Alberto and it goes into the crowd. Long one by Stevie Buttle. Up for Dave Hagen, broken up. Nice comeback actually for Buffalo because they were down 8-5 at one time and they could have been blown right out of the building. Here is Buriano. To Pisano and back to Buriano for Salguero. Passing to the right side. Blocked by McKenzie. Still loose. Look out. De Santana in the box. Cleared out. Bobby Bosmeyer may have saved the game for Pittsburgh or at least the lead for now. Shirley back into the box. Bosmeyer missing in the header and Salguero was robbed by Papaleo. And if Bosmeyer didn't save it, Papaleo did there. Pisano to Christensen, headed away, Bobby Bosmeyer. And that'll do it, Jim Forney. Pittsburgh is still undefeated on HSE. And thank Bobby Bosmeyer for two brilliant saves right at